What's up guys, Johnny here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you Ford Motor Company on the Robinhood platform and Weeble as a combination to give you information on this awesome company. So, first off, I am back on Robinhood. I'm in the process of getting my account reactivated. I do miss the awesome features that it had and the simplicity of it and I know some of you viewers out there miss these type of videos but I'm gonna try to combine it with other research from Weeble and Yahoo Finance like I have in the past to give you the most information on stock reviews so if you like that kind of stuff smash the like button and let's get into the video so Ford Motors is trading right now at $14.99. Now it's up about 32% in five years. Now, Ford Motor hasn't always seen these peaks and these valleys. Now, as you can see in a year, it has gone up 16.84%, but that is from th um, the 12.83 to the 14.99. Now in January, of 2022 this company did go up as high as $25.19 but usually it trails around the $10 to $8 mark and has been doing for a very long time even before the um, pandemic that we had so uh, it did go down all the way as low as $5 and $4 which means if you picked up on this company then you would have made some significant gains overall which looks like it was about 121 percent now ford motor company for all of you who don't know engages in manufacturing distribution and sales of automobiles it operates through the following said mix segments such as automotive mobility ford credit corporate other interest on debt and special items now James D. Farley is the CEO and he has over 183 employees inside Ford Motor Companies. Um, they are headquartered in Dearborn, Michigan and they've been founded in 1903 and have been around since then. Now their market cap is 60 and a half billion dollars which is just insane and their PE ratio is a 5.28 which is just great I like to look at low PE ratios for my stocks it really helps um, when I identify these companies and moving forward that's something that I'm willing to pay for um, each share price now the dividend yield is just shy of 3% per year which is actually pretty fantastic for such a low bearing fruit type company it has a dividend yield but it also has an incredibly large market cap and they're not going anywhere because they are dipping into electric vehicles as well the average volume is around 55 million um, which is great and actually today's volume as a market opened was slightly high at 58 million now that is a good um that is good to look at also because if there is a low average volume then it'll be hard to liquidate or sell off your stocks and so then it would be harder for you to get out of the position but with this much volume there is a lot of um, trades going in and out which is great and um, some other news about Ford is that 55% of analysts of 22 analysts uh, say it is a hold now 36% say it is a buy and 9% are saying it is a sell now you can pause the screen here but real briefly Morningstar is saying that on the bull side that Ford has tried to remove some administrative layers as well as being aggressive toward more moving toward electric vehicles as well as focusing its investments where it can get the best returns. 
Now, at the same time, on the bear side, it has a little bit more to say about it on the Morning Star, but basically saying that Ford stocks can sell off heavily on macroeconomic fears as the auto industry growth kind of significantly reduces, which limits potential margin expansion. Debt is high, but starting to come down slightly. Now, again, like I said, you can pause this if you want to read more. But moving on, the earnings right now for um, Q2 for 2022 for this year is saying that it had an estimated of, it looks like around um, 0.3 or so, 0.4. And uh, it looks like they actually beat the earnings per share on that, which is great. Um, I have actually bought and sold previously before post um, pandemic it looks here like March 2019 February I had bought a few shares around the $8 mark um, so that's about where it was trading at before now moving on to Webull as you can see here I have created another chart and as we can go over to the financials the earnings per share actually for Q2 was expected to be um, 45 cents and it blew it out of the water and it was actually 68 cents so that is just fantastic as far as the earnings per share um, so what what does this mean right for you guys well if you guys invested when it was at its all-time low let's just stay around like the four dollar mark even the five dollar mark if you were invested right now you're sitting uh what is it about fifteen dollars you would be up 184 percent on your investment now um what if we move that and you got in now today there is still some potential it is at fifteen dollars say the market opens and you get in at fifteen um uh, fifteen twenty well, it has the potential to go down because as you can see, it's had a bottom here, a bottom here, and a bottom here. So if it does bottom, your potential of losing almost 30% of your investment, right, if you do sell. Now you could always average down and do things like that. But if you get in and you wait, and it potentially, you know, this is probably where it's going to be. You see how it has this um, top right here around the $15. has another one here. And then it has one here and here. So this is probably where it's going to just kind of go up and down and fluctuate. But say it did go up, you're looking at another 67% increase on your investment or a 67% profit if you lock that in if it goes up to $25 again. So that would be pretty amazing. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Definitely invest at your own risk. But I think do think Ford is a great company moving forward they have a lot of money and they have a lot of engineers and people focused on moving forward into the electric car industry so it might be a good idea to check this out for yourself but I hope this video helped you in some way give you a little bit of research and I am a little rusty but as I move forward I will do a better job at giving you better information on companies that you want to know about. Thanks for watching, subscribe and smash the like button and we'll see you in the next one.